Ronaldo vs Benzema was the perfect final flourish for the Saudi Professional League's transformative year. There are still four footballers on earth active as professionals who have won the Ballon d'Or. There is only one league on the planet where you can see two of them on the same pitch. With this unique bill, the Saudi Professional League opened a calendar year in which the unprecedented and inimitable set the benchmark. As it turned out, Cristiano Ronaldo vs. Karim Benzema, six Ballon d'Or winners between them and their Real Madrid teammates over nine years and 342 games in an era that celebrated Madrid's strength and power, had plenty of drama. For al had, Benzema missed a penalty kick, one of two converted by Ronaldo, Al Nasser player, Fabinho was sent off, and Sadio Omain and Abderzak Hamdala scored twice. The match ended 5-2 in Jeddah, a 90-minute snapshot that shows how stardom and imported talent are contributing to a league landscape undergoing massive transformation. In less than two weeks, Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid and Osasuna will travel to Riyadh to take part in the Spanish Super Cup, an event that was expanded and exported to Saudi Arabia four years ago, when hosting major international events there was less routine than usual. Had become. Back in 2019, clubs like Barcelona and Madrid confidently imagined themselves as the hottest player in football in the Saudi winter. This year they will think again. On Tuesday night, when Ronaldo's Al Nasser beat Benzema's Al Ittihad, the ebb and flow of the match was more compelling Al Ittihad led, lost, equalized and lost again than, say, a club World Cup final. The cup was won by Manchester City in the same city four days earlier. There is a direct threat of rivalry across these two matches too, with Ronaldo's two goals edging out City's Erling Haaland at least overnight in the race to be football's top scorer in 2023. Thus begins the story of an important year in the professional league and ends with Ronaldo setting the milestones. He was the marquee player whose arrival in January confirmed the prestige of Saudi club football for the many others who subsequently followed. Fast forward 13 months, and Ronaldo was at a crossroads in his action-packed career, he had fallen out badly with Manchester United, and was left out of Portugal's World Cup starting lineup. His resurgence, in his 39th year, has been remarkable, and for anyone who sees it as essentially an argument that standards are much lower in the professional league, defenses are easier to beat than it was for him in La Liga, the Premier League. League or in the Italian League, it should be noted that its importance for Portugal has also returned to almost peak levels in the last 12 months. 10 of Ronaldo's 53 goals in the calendar year came from nine international appearances, all of them with him fully restored to the starting lineup for a national team that compiled an unblemished record in Euro 2024 qualifiers. If Ronaldo, who joined Al Nasser in January, was the pioneer of the rise of the World Professional League, then money was the motivation. Its clubs, especially those heavily backed by the country's public investment fund Al Nasser, Al Ittihad, Al Hilal and Al Ali spent more than all the major European leagues except the English Premier League on transfer fees last summer. The impact of the incoming stars is clear, Ronaldo is the league's top scorer so far this season, just ahead of Aleksandr Mitrovic, who is worth more than 50 million euros, and whose goals for Al Hilal have helped him lead the title race as the Al Ittihad champions have fallen behind. Behind. And not just locally. The defeat of Benzema and his teammates against Al Nasser came shortly after their loss to Al Ali of Egypt in the Club World Cup. Meanwhile, Al Hilal entered the second half of the season unbeaten, having dropped just four points, all without making much use of their supposed trump card, Neymar. The Brazilian, who was attracted from Paris Saint Germain for a fee of 90 million euros, suffered a serious injury in October and may not feature in any competition again until mid 2024. In the absence of Neymar, the Saudi juggernaut is moving forward. The country has been confirmed to host the 2034 World Cup in the autumn, an event that is still far on the horizon for Roberto Mancini, who has given up his position as coach of the European champions Italy to take over as coach of the Saudi national team. Mancini takes a careful look at the growing global reach of the professional league. Stars from abroad have certainly boosted international interest, but in Mancini's view the influx of incoming talent threatens to snuff out first-team opportunities for homegrown players. 
he is expected to voice that concern loudly ahead of next month's Asian Cup in Qatar, where expectations around the Green Falcons, the national team from the new Superpower League, will be higher than ever.